All right, gentlemen. Well, our fourth period of Trade Watch Florida edition as we filmed this in <laughs> South Florida during the NHL All-Star Weekend. And we want to talk about a player who is currently with the New York Islanders, but he represented the Pacific Division, and that's Bo <laughs> Horvat, who also assisted on an Elias Pettersson goal. So it was Pedersen from Horvat for one last ride or something like that, right? right. Something yeah. something like that. Well, no more because he is an Islander and will be making his debut later this week officially uh, with the New York Islanders. Quick little update on his situation. There has been an offer presented, a long-term offer. We believe it to be eight years uh, for Bo Horvat to stick around on Long Island and to stay long-term, an eight-year extension. I believe it's in and around $8 million a year. Um, so we're going to figure that out soon enough, and I'm sure he will as well with his agent, Pat Morris. But those discussions very much underway. An offer has been presented. It's now up to uh, Horvat's camp. I think, just personally, I know it's in and around $8 million. I think it's going to cost the Islanders a little bit more than that to try and keep them. But the only team yes. that can offer them that eight-year deal. So we'll right. see what happens there. So an update on a former teammate of <laughs> Bo Horvat, and that's Brock Besser. Yeah, that's another one. So everybody's now wondering who's next, who's who's the next guy that's going to be dealt out of Vancouver. Um, some information this weekend coming out of All-Star Weekend is that they are very much engaged in trade talks involving Brock Besser. It sounds like that is progressing. Now, the last time we were told something was coming was sooner than later, and it ended yeah. up being like three days. Right. I don't think it's going to be that quick. I still believe there's a little bit of work to do with respect to uh, Brock Besser and his future, um, but there are definitely conversations they're heating up. Well, I think if the Canucks are willing to retain any amount of salary on the Brock Besser deal or take money back, right, sure. I think they can pull that deal off anytime they want. Dennis, Jacob Chikrin. Okay, so my friends in Los Angeles, I know you keep the candle in the window for Jacob Chikrin, and I know there's need on the left side. Do not count on Jacob Chikrin coming to Los Angeles. If I was a betting man, Dave, I'd say it's probably the Bruins. And imagine the top pair yeah. with Jacob Chikrin and Charlie McAvoy. You think the favorite's now to win the cup. Yeah. If that happens, <laughs> double down. Yeah, without question. We know that Boston's been poking around on, on Jacob Chikrin for the last little while, uh, going back really to last offseason. So right. uh, we'll see. We'll see how that kind of unfolds. Everybody's really excited about this Chikrin news, as you can tell. So we'll see kind of how things kind of go in that regard. One final one here, probably one of the biggest names, and that's Timo Meyer. New Jersey, New Jersey, New Jersey. They would love to be able, Dennis, oh. to get this guy yep. on their team. Now, the, again, and to reiterate the situation involving Timo Meyer. So he has that $10 million qualifying offer. It's not a big deal. It's, it's not, not a big deal uh, because they're going to discuss an extension and try to work something out there. So any team that comes close to at least agreeing to the parameters of a trade, they'll have permission to speak to his agent, Claude Lemieux, to try to get an extension done. So if Timo Meyer is dealt, expect an, a, a new contract to go along with it, DP. Yeah, and look, I think what happened last week when the Bruins lost three games, keep hope alive, Eastern Conference yeah. teams. <laughs> they got back in the fight. So when New Jersey adding Timo Meyer would be a great add for this team. They've had a great season. Great story in New Jersey, but to add Timo Meyer to that core, that would be, you know, that would challenge both Boston and Carolina, who I think are the two top teams in the East. Timo Meyer, Brock Besser, Jacob Trickrin, the list is going to go on. Yes. So make sure you go on over to thefourthperiod.com and check out our trade watch board to see who is going to get moved where and if and when it's going to happen because the March 2nd trade deadline is coming up pretty quick. It's actually March 3rd. There you go. But we're in and around the same. We're here from Florida.